welcome back to another video i'm back here in brisbane i didn't film my trip back up to brisbane from melbourne but i did bring a road train up but tonight i'm heading out to Inverell, which is five hours southwest of where we are i want to go load up out there and then haul it back to brisbane and then that's me done for the week realized just now if i come all the way into brisbane my road train signs out I'm trying to do that again trailer I've made sure that I've got all my pogos and boards and uh, once I've got my B trailer which is in front of me there one of the locals brought it in I'll hook up and we'll go to Inverell he's gonna drop my trailer right there where he's reversing it to and all I'm gonna do is hook up to it and head straight out of the yard the gates over this way so there's my B trailer all ready for me Obviously there's a turntable on the back of the A trailer that the B trailer connects up to. And all I've got to do now is reverse the A trailer underneath the B trailer. Check my fridges, check my temperatures, make sure they all work. They're both fueled up. Now I've got to try and get this under. I'm trying to just get it out to check. That that pin is lined up with the turntable. Yeah, that'll go in, I reckon. But as you can see, the trailer's sitting above the turntable. And that's what this is for. This is an airbag switch. This just lifts the trailer up from the axles. See now this is raised up. When I push back, that pin will lock in, hopefully. And there we go. Do a bit of a tug test. Make sure it's locked in. So I've just pulled the truck and trailers out of the yard. Just into the neighbouring yard because ours was a bit busy. First half of the road train signs are away. Can't be bothered turning the other one around. Too much mucking around. I've already checked the airlines. Double checked that fit there. That's good. My legs are all wound up and whatnot. Fuel levels are full. Make sure that airbag switches down. So for a B double, you need long vehicle signs on the back. Got those. Now I'll just check my fridge temperatures to what they're set at. They need to be set at minus three. That's the B trailer. And that's the A trailer. So these B doubles with my prime mover hooked up to it. They're 27 meters long. So nowhere near as long as a road train. But still not, but still not small. What I'll do now, fill out my run sheet, let payroll know where I'm going and what I'm doing. What's the date? I don't even know the date. Second and third. Filled out my run sheet. So now I'll catch my logbook up to where I'll catch my logbook up to where I'm at. 
because I wouldn't have touched it since I left Gaddon last night. And then we're on the road. I'll get some footage of me rolling out of the yard and out of Brisbane. But I think the next stop I'll go straight to Inverell. It's only five hours away with an empty B-double, so it's a pretty quick run. If I can get out there, get loaded within 45 minutes and come back, it's four o'clock now, I'll be back by two in the morning, I think. Since I got back to Brisbane early this morning, my wife picked me up, took me home, I had another nap, and then I jumped in the car and brought it back to the yard myself, just so she doesn't have to get up in the morning and come pick me up. All right, let's get up it. All right, let's get into it. So for anybody that doesn't know Brisbane, for anybody that doesn't know Brisbane, our depot is based in Hemant, not far from the port of Brisbane. here at Aratrula, just stopped in here, got some drinks, used the restroom, but Aratrula is located, Aratrula is located at the bottom of a part of the scenic rim here. I love this area, um, there's a lake out here called Lake Mugra that some of my family go to every now and again and we go out there, we've been out there a few times with them and you've got Cow Bar just back up the road a little bit that I've already been through, I'd love to live there one day, it looks at the scenic rim, can't see much of it where I am because obviously we're at the bottom. But I'm going to chuck the head strap on, start heading up the hill. You guys won't be able to see very well. My windshield is dirty. I should have cleaned it. But that's alright, once the sun goes down over those hills, we get up onto the gap, we'll be able to see. For anyone that watched the last video, I feel like it was a bit too long, so I'm going to try and make this one shorter and see how that goes. I think I tried to squeeze too much information and footage into one video. I think what I might do from now on is plan out my videos a bit better about what I'm going to talk about. This is one of my preferred runs that I do. I usually leave Brisbane on a Sunday, go straight down to Melbourne like I did in the first vlog and then either come direct straight back to Brisbane and get back in Thursday morning or I work my way up through Sydney and then come home to Brisbane and I usually do this run at the end of the week. But as you can tell it's a bit bumpy. Hopefully it doesn't get dark while we're going up the hill. It shouldn't. If anyone doesn't want to watch these B-reels you can just skip through to the end of them or something like that. But I thought I'd put them in two reasons just so you guys can see what it's like driving a truck on different highways different road conditions and the second reason because my son likes watching them so I think because of that I'll keep doing them I will chop all the fat out of them though just so they're not too long apparently there's a truck crash on the way up the hill or on the way down the hill today so I'm hoping, well I'm assuming, because of all this traffic going the other way, that the truck's gone. If anyone
guys wondering what that beeping noise is, that is lane departure. It's just a part of all the safety stuff we've got going on. Keep my foot in it coming up here. When you slow down, it's hard to pick speed back up. I think it look. I think it'll look like I'm going a lot faster than I am. I'm only doing 60. side of the hill come down just up here. No, oh, old mate's on his jakes. The side of the hill come down up here. So they've closed one lane off. And it goes back to one lane each way. Just up the hill here, here it is. It is narrow. It's easy to gauge where you're at when you're driving the truck. All you have to do is sit, sit the middle of your driver's seat, just left of the white lines here. And obviously you use your mirrors to see where you are on the lane. It just becomes natural after a while, after a bit of practice. I see all these blokes are going so slow because if we start using our brakes going downhill and we've got a bit of weight on, just cook some brakes straight away. So what we gotta do is put the truck in a low gear and let the engine brakes hold the truck at a low speed all the way down to the bottom. Usually when I'm coming down here after I'm loaded, I'm, I'm doing 20 or 30 k's an hour all the way down the hill. see them that light there on the left that's the dock and you can usually see from the road whether or not there's trucks sitting in there these will be the 
These will be the cattle truck boys, I think. They don't look like any of our trucks. Oh no, that's a tanker. And that's a GDH truck. Here we are, five and a half hours, oh, six hours later with some delays. I really like coming out here, the, the people out here are really good. I've just gone in and talked to them. Uh, I've got to wait for got to wait for our Sydney truck to get here. I think he was due before me, but he's still not here. But in the meantime, I'll just take this time to do my paperwork. So when I hook the trailers back up and go to leave, all my paperwork will be done and I'll just finish filling it out and I'll be on the road as fast as I can. Next is Greg. He's loading that single up and going to Sydney. That's the truck I was talking about. He actually left the yard before I did and somehow or another he got here after me and I didn't even pass him. So I don't know how that works, but whatever. So I've got one of these to help me get through the night. My next stop will be Aratrula where I was earlier for a coffee. I like the mockers they make at the Shell Service Centre there. Then after that I'll be home for the weekend. I'll see you guys there. Aratrula come through with the goods. I'm four and a half hours into my drive back to Brisbane. I can hear my bed starting to call my name so I thought I'd grab coffee and a bite to eat. This should see me through back to the depot and after that I'm and after that, home time. Can't wait to get back into my own bed. This is my usual breakfast of choice when I'm coming through Aratula. Eggs Benedict and a toasted Turkish. Can't beat it.
finally back in the yard finally home for the weekend absolutely wrecked if you guys like this video like comment subscribe would really appreciate it it really helps my content get to the top of the algorithm other than that you guys have a good weekend and i'll see you on the next video